Oh, right. You're live. I'm live. <laughs> okay. Not according to this. I'll change my glasses and then I'll have a look. See what I can see. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, right. I can, we're live. I can see myself. Um, okay, if you're watching and you want to chat with me, chat with me. There's a live chat down at the bottom, well, the bottom of my page anyway. Um, today, we're carrying on with our um, Let's Cheer Britain Up or wherever we are in the world for an hour amidst this horror, horror that's going on. It's, it's only the last two or three days, actually, that I've, the whole enormity of the situations got through to me um it's just it's just awful i can't believe at the end of us end of it that it's going to be in one family that hasn't been touched um in some way so look after the ones you love and let's just try and forget about it uh, hi shaz um for a little while and do some crafting so we're back to the lap book uh, it's it's progressing actually. I, I'm liking how it's progressing. It's uh, we're kind of halfway through now. We've got this little booklet on the end um, that you can take off. It's only tied on with a ribbon, so you can take that away for the day or do whatever. We've got this, which very much I've borrowed from uh, Claire Taylor from Taylor Made Journals. She did an Edith Holden lap book, and it is beautiful. Uh, it's long since sold, but the video flip through of it is still on YouTube. Well worth looking at. Uh, and then this was the bit that we completed last, um, which is this sort of little booklet here, which also removes a like so. So we're making progress. So the next bit to do is this bit here. Now then, what's going to happen here is quite sort of difficult for me to explain, really. So I'll kind of show you, and hopefully it'll all become apparent. That's going to be attached to that page there. It's going to have some tags in it there, which we'll make today. And then, this is when it gets sort of tricky to explain. Um, I'm having one piece of card attached to there on a, a, a sellotape hinge, if you like, um, which will come down that way. Then another piece of card attached to that piece of card, which will come down that way. And then another piece of card <laughs> attached to that, which will come down there. So we'll have a whole fold out that is long. This, you know, three pieces of card long. So we've got all of those to decorate. Yay, take us more time. Get through this 12 weeks somehow. So this, um, I can't really stick this down until I have affixed my next piece of card to it. Because I want to sort of just run some sellotape up there. And then I'm going to stick some paper over this whole page so the sellotape will be hidden. But here we're going to have to put some um, washi tape. That's the fella. Washi tape down this side to hide the sellotape down, down there. Or I could do it on the back, in which case, yeah, that's a much better idea. You won't see the washi tape at all. Actually, talking of funny things, uh, which we weren't at all, but I'll tell you this. You know how I'm always cracking on about AliExpress and the things are great? You have to wait a little while for them, all right? But um, everything I've ever had from AliExpress has been absolutely as it was sold to me. You know, and I've never had a problem with anything. And Yeah, sometimes take up to three months to get here. But, you know, if you order well in advance, it's fine. Anyway, I ordered a load of lace um, and it 
And they're all from different cellars, so they've arrived at different times. And I've been delighted with all of them. There's just one outstanding piece of lace still to come. And the postman brought it this morning. So I felt the package and it didn't feel particularly like lace. And let me just show you what has arrived that is supposed to be lace for my junk journals. Oh dear me, it's just so far off anything. And, you know, you kind of know me quite well now, the people who watch this, I think. Um, I can't get into it. And... Uh, oh, oh, let's see. Right, this is it. This is supposed to be lace. <laughs> Look at that. The earrings, obviously. And the, I don't know, swords or daggers or something. <laughs> Oh dear, I can't see me, you know, even on blinking Halloween or whatever, I can't see, not that I go out on Halloween, you understand. Um, I let the kids have the sweeties on that occasion. Uh, but anyway, this is what they sent for in place of lace. So, you know, I, I was feeling pretty peeved and then Justin said, yeah, but imagine the poor bugger. <laughs> Who's got the lace trying to thread that through his ears? <laughs> so... Uh, I'll keep them because, well, frankly, you never know when you need a pair of sword earrings, do you? <laughs> I've never had that option before. Never had the choice. So um, I'll keep them. They're always good for a laugh. Right, back to the uh, business in hand. So I need to attach this to this, but I actually think it would be easier to attach all of the sheets together. Otherwise, we're going to end up trying to attach it on here where it's not very level etc i know it's hilarious sword in the stone journal next <laughs> yeah i mean justin kind of with a straight face said to me <laughs> well if you ever want to do a sort of arthur in the round table legend journal <laughs> then that'd be great yeah that was top of my list that was can't wait to get this finished so I can get on to my King Arthur journal. <laughs> anyway, you've got to laugh. <laughs> right, let's put that away because I don't really need that at the moment. <laughs> I've set myself off giggling now. Um, right, let's put everything away, in fact, out of the way. Right, so I've got that, I've got that, that... One of these is slightly narrower. Must be this one. Yeah, and that's going to go at the end. Right, so that's what I need, and I need them sellotaped so they'll be um, able to bend right over on themselves. Oh, when you've really been laughing, you go, "Why was so weak?" Don't you? Well, I do. <laughs> so I want the. I want the sellotape on the back of that, so let's let's do this one first. Let's get sensible. I don't maybe I'm going stir crazy, maybe that's what it is. Are you stir crazy yet, Shaz? There's a there's such a big difference between being told that you can't go out and just choosing not to go out. And you know, I'm I'm told not to go out now, so it, it seems different. Right, so that's that needs to go there. Just I'm just double checking because um I, you know have made mistakes before in my life. A good deal of which ended up on video. Actually some of the mistakes that I made early on I should have blinking sent them to are you being framed or whatever because they're hilarious. Right, so just make sure you've got that lined up. And then, sellotape. Where are we? Where's the end? Is that the end? I don't know. Yeah, it's this. Right, so I'm just going to kind of stretch the sellotape. And... Place it down there. It's 
so I should have enough in that to allow that to fold very easily. Yeah, that's great. So I'm going to cut the top off. I don't want to fold it over. Where are my proper scissors, heaven's sake? I'm using little nail clippers. The uh, sellotape in the middle will be sticky. Um, I'll stick it to myself. And if, you know, it will eventually obviously lose its stick. But if you're worried about it and you want to instantly de stick it, something like corn flour, talcum powder, icing sugar, anything like that will de stick it instantly. Right, so now the next one. Is that the narrower one? Yeah, that's the narrower one. So this one. I'm just using the lines here on my um, cutting mat. I'm, I've got one one side of the line and then I'm putting the other one just on the other side of the line. The cat hair there, which I could live without. Um, and leaving enough space for it to fold. This is uh, an idea that I first saw from Nick the Booksmith. If you haven't been over to Nick the Booksmith and you're a junk journaler, you're missing out big style because she is, she comes up with the best ideas. Um, I've seen it other places, other people are doing it now. Uh, Klimi's Creations, she's another um, lady who is just lovely to watch actually it's a really nice uh so sort of, i don't know what shall i call it a subculture <laughs> it's a really nice group of people the people that do junk journals so i'm just chopping the ends off there yeah that's shady crying i don't know what he's got to cry about got quite a nice little life of it really so that's going to be stuck on the journal that's coming over there this is coming over here if you don't like it that way you can do it that way it's quite free and easy uh, this last piece that's going on it's narrower than the others but I want it to be a little bit narrower still because I actually this is one place I'm going to allow myself to put lace in the journal and by lace I do not mean daggers if you didn't join me at the beginning, then um, you won't know what I'm talking about. But AliExpress sent me some daggers, earrings instead of lace. That's what I'm on about. So I'm just going to chop that off there and then I'll, I'll put some lace along. Oh, actually, I might give myself another half inch. I can always chop it off if I want to, more if I want to. Let's just slice that off. Okay. So I'm just going to stick this one there. As I say, I'm just kind of lining them up with my cutting board to get them pretty accurate. That might be a bit big, that gap. Okay, <clears throat> solid tape. Ooh, my gap's expanding as I'm doing it. Please don't. I must have just caught it there. Luckily, it was before I'd really pressed it down. Sorry if you can see the back of my head at this stage, but I really need to be sort of seeing what I'm doing here. Let's try that. Let's try that for size. I'm 
bunch up the ends off and then we'll see if we've actually achieved what we wanted to achieve. I think we probably have. I'm hoping so. Oh, come on. Right. So we've got this that's going to be stuck in the book. Foldy, foldy, foldy. Or if you want to, you can foldy any which way you like. Really nice. A foldy thing. It's like a kind of slinky, but made of paper. So, excellent. The question is, do I want to um, decorate these before they go in the book? Would that be easier? And I get the feeling that, yes, it probably would. So what I'm going to do is get my I've got I've got the Edith Holden, um, you know, diary of an Edwardian lady, as you know. In fact, I've got several of them. And I've also got this garden note and I've also got somewhere a nature note. Don't know where that is. Um, and I've also got this 50p. The Countryside Diary. Actually, this is a really lovely book. It's really, really nice. With some very nice plates in it. These are kind of whiter than the rest of the pages I've got. Pages I've got are that... Oh, isn't that gorgeous? I might just have to use that. Yeah, really, really nice book. A fixed photographs and other memorabilia here. What are they trying to do? Do me out of a job. Anyway, I'll pop that back on the shelves for just now. Um, what else have I got here? Edwardian Lady Dates to Remember. Birthday book. Nice pictures in. Uh, yearbook. And this is brand new. Also, oh look, it's gorgeous. So I'm not sure of the odd one or two uh, Edith Holden pictures. But I'll save them for another day. And let's see if we can find some um, pictures to put on our... Aren't they lovely, those little dicky birds? I love them. There's... Yeah, there's that one. I like that one. Let's tear that out and see where where that gets us. Some of these pages, I want to be just the Edith Holden image because they're so nice. I don't, I don't really want to be starting to cover all of them up. Um, most of them will have pockets and such like you know the way I normally do things, um, but some I just want the image. Now, where does that come to? It comes to about there. So, I want to still have this. I think I'm going to have to sacrifice blue tits, but I can cut that out. So, I'm just going to mark where that comes to. Actually, I could measure it, which would probably be like a whole load more sensible. Um, and not to mention a bit more accurate. So, it's five and a half five and a half by nine that's easy to remember isn't it five and a half by nine let's let's say it is <laughs> um no i'm gonna leave that on so i'm coming five and a half across here see where that gets me to Ooh, it gets me that's tight so i'm gonna come five and three quarters um, and then take a quarter off down here so it'll fit in. I must say since I got this cutting board and, a, and I'm now using my patchwork rulers and my rotary cutter, boy is that the way to go. It's so much easier. I really like this patchwork ruler. Makes being accurate a bit easier. Um, and then this rotary cutter. <laughs> which I've just pushed that, that's not far right right so I want it to be five and a half so I'm going to have to cut a quarter of an inch 
off the other side but I just didn't want to cut that um, blue tit at all I want him completely in the picture oh I've still got the word blue tits great so I can put that on my picture that's good and nine so let's go from the bottom and see where it's pretty much it's pretty much nine this paper to be honest so there's not much, nothing in fact to come off there so all that's going to get stuck on my card so anybody joined us five people hi shaz 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 and shaz <laughs> I've got an Edwardian address book that I love. Yeah, they're, they're just all lovely. So I'm going to put that one there. Um, it's really nice. No reason why it can't go there, is there? Not that I can see. And Prit or glue stick or whatever is absolutely adequate because we're just sticking paper onto paper. I don't need to ink it yet because I can ink it once it's on the card. Um, yeah, okay, off we go. I'm going to have to find another cheap supplier of my glue sticks in a shop that's open because they've honestly all my um, my book suppliers are now closed charity shops as in right so let's get this on pretty straight worried that January the J part of the J for January has been um, is not in the picture you, you know you get I can't have everything in that picture it's just uh, not room for it so I've got to sacrifice something so I'll just get my grey right make sure it's got a good stick Right, so now I am going to ink it because otherwise I'm going to have to have a monstrous inking session at the end. And uh, I don't want that. brings me joy to see that and I'm hope, hoping that other people would feel the same and not think where's that bit of stuff gone that have blue tits on it oh here it is no they wouldn't think that where's that bit of stuff gone that's got blue tits on it so I'm just taking my um decally sort of scissors cutting this blue tits word out I'm a bit tight for tight for tight space there that's all right um that's pretty much all that's on that page so that i can actually throw that in the bin so i'm just going to put blue tits there because it says coal tit and great tit down there there's something really childish about me that wants to laugh at that <laughs> so, oh dear it's the joy in me from friends the sink around there and then I'm just yeah I'm gonna put that there I think that'll be fine so each pieces each pieces <laughs> each piece of card because of the way we're constructing it has got we will see the back and the front 
so each piece needs um, something on the back and something on the front. <sighs> How you doing, Shaz? Hope you're doing all right, girl. Horrible times, eh? Anyway, um, what I'm going to do now, whilst I'm thinking what I'm going to do on the rest of these pages, is um, work out what what's going to happen with these in the in the actual book itself. And I have done a bit of prep for this, a little bit, not much, but a bit. So that's going to go there in the middle there, like that. And then I'm going to put, as you've seen me before, actually make a couple of um, tags and put them in. This is acetate. Actually, it's Polly Pocket because um, Justin got really stingy on me using acetate. We've, we've only, well, I think we're down to our last 104 pieces of acetate. But he said, you don't need acetate for that. You can use Polly Pocket. So um, that's what I use, Polly Pocket. Right, so what's going to happen there is all that's going to be stuck in apart from these two things here. And I'm going to make two uh, large tags that are going, going to go in there. You see, the thing about this is you can't have anything that's too thick. Because if you have things that are too thick, it's not going to um, bend and flop and do its job really so I've got to keep things quite not fat so I'm going to have one there one there um, which as I say I've already started on so I've cut out some these two things from the journal stuck them onto fairly thickish um, coffee dyed paper although you could put them onto ordinary paper it doesn't matter because we're actually going to add something to the back of them as well and out of one of those books that I've just shown you um, I found that it had this section at the end of the calendar date for notes um, which I thought was quite good and that I could probably utilize so I mean I love this one because I love poppies so what I'm gonna do is um, and that there just comes up just to notes. In fact, I can move it up just so it comes there. And I'm just going to center it on this background. And I'm assuming that's fairly central. And I'm just going to draw with a pencil roughly around here. And just cut it out. Then I'll have a bit of a not with old scissors, a bit of a guide of where to stick it on the back of my tag. Right, don't throw that away. Look at all the goodness left on that page. Right, so the bottom is straight because I haven't cut it at all. So I can get that on there and just glue that down. We'll have a nice little back to our tag for somebody to write their notes on. Actually, on, on this occasion, I'm going to glue this side. Make sure that you get your glue all over because if you don't, you get like a air bubble in it. Um, and it's really annoying then if you're trying to write on it and you've got an air bubble. So that's the top. That's the top. Okay, let's get those bottoms lined up. Get your bottoms lined up. There we go. And if it curls, it curls. Don't worry about it. Um, stick some weight on it. I've, I have forever got a load of elements with, you know, reams of paper on top of heavy books, whatever, um, just flattening them out. Bend it that way a little bit. I think in the fullness of time I'll probably sew around here, but not today. 
because they're not going in, actually in the book today. more glue I mean that corner is going to be cut off because I'm actually going to do them tag shaped just the shape I'm not putting any string or anything in the top I think there's just a little bit actually of that paper at the bottom. Obviously didn't line it up exactly. Near enough. Right, so that's that one. And we've got the poppies. It says common red poppy. It says notes. It's looking good. So for this one, um, I'm going to use this broom, I think. Same, same thing. It fits in just there underneath the, you know, I haven't got any dates in it, which is good. I'm just going to roughly, once again, just roughly draw around it. I could cut it exactly, but then that gives you no margin of error when you're placing it down. Um, and I'd rather have a bit of fiddle room. Today feels like a Saturday to me. It, all the days are all wonky, aren't they? I mean, to be honest, I wasn't one to go out the house much anyway. But when you're told you can't, for 12 weeks, you know, it seems... I mean, I've got my official letter today. And it says, from today, you can't go out. But I got my text on Friday that said from today <laughs> so it's somewhere around now in 12 weeks time all being well and who knows who really knows uh right so this goes on the bottom it's going a bit wonky wonk we're all right uh, <clears throat> I think we are okay yeah I think that's see it's a good job that I allowed myself a bit of fiddle factor this ain't my first rodeo Okay, so let's have a look what the back of that one. Yeah, lovely. It's really nice. Really nice. I don't know what I got that bit out for. Who knows? So let's just see what these are going to look like in here. Blooming cat hairs, honestly. So they're going to go like so, and like so, although actually I did make them to go the other way, come to think of it, I made them to go that way. Yeah, I, th I think that's better and I like the idea that you get a nice surprise when you, when you turn them over. Yeah. I, th I think I'll do them that way. As I say, I think before I actually um, put them, in, you know, put them in for good and ever, I'll probably sew around them. But for the, for the um, here and now, I'm just going to cut the corners off and uh, ink around them. So as we can sort of say, we've got a finished element.
so quiet without the kids playing outside. I mean, we don't have many kids around here, but you know, usually the walking a dog outside. Uh, I got your letter last week. It's already a third week. Wow. Oh, brilliant. Glad to be of assistance. Uh, yeah, the ironing technique is good, isn't it? For putting decoupage on, it's brilliant. That's gone a bit wonky. <laughs> Got a bit of a wonk on. It is amazing how people comment on videos that are, you know, two and three years old and they send you comments. Uh, I had one the other day saying, um, what kind of light lamp are you using? I need to get one. I can't remember what I was using three years ago. And another one where I was decoupaging my apron, somebody messaged and said, oh, this just takes too long. You know, I could, Stenciling isn't for me. It just takes too long. <laughs> Where have you been? You could have done the stenciling in that time. So let's ink around these and then we'll we'll say that we've got that element done, that back. Oh, I've got a bit of text showing through there, which is going to annoy me. Right. All set. All set. Do the back. I do like the backs of these, they're lovely. I think somebody get a pleasant surprise when they turn it over and see that, which is always nice in a journal. Uh, Tim Holt says leaving Ranger. He's probably got enough money to retire on, I'd have thought. If he if he makes something out of each and every distress oxide or distress ink pad that he sells, he's I don't mind being a fiver behind him. Um right, so that's that. Let's just have a little check checkeroo. Make sure we're all right. Pull that out of the way. Put that on the edge, the edge of reason. They go in there. I mean, it would be done so easy once they're stuck in. And I want them just to come to there. Mm, quite fancy putting a little word on there. Because they're a little bit bland otherwise, I think. But overall, the idea is good. Stick with it. Let's see if we can find some words to put on there. The thing about doing three lives a week is that and, and actually i did a bonus video yesterday <laughs> like i hadn't done enough videos i did a video on making these little things which are paper and tyvek boho beads gorgeous little things um so if you haven't seen that yet uh have a look on my channel and it will be there ready for you to view uh, it's not not the longest one in the world, um, but they're they're really good fun to make. And if you're really stuck for Tyvek, you can't get any during these stressful times. I do have a supply of it, so um, if you need any, let me know. I was going to do. I was looking for words, wasn't I? So this says, as I was walking across the fields to the cattle today, a snipe flew up from the grass at my feet. Soon after, I saw a curlew alight in the field. Mm, okay. I'm, I think that I'm just going to um, take some random words out of that. They don't need to make sense. It is quite nice when they do make sense, but they don't absolutely have to. So I'm just going to cut all these words out and see what fits in. 
these are my um blimey, i don't know what you call them decal scissors that make decal edges um they're the kind of cheap variety they're the kids version and when these stop working i'm going to buy a pair of fiskars ones because i really like these and i use them quite a lot so what can i get fitted on there i can just get that little bit there I'm just going to cut that there. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm just going to ink that up and stick it on. Um, and the fact that it doesn't make sense is neither here nor there. It's her text and, it, you know, it all goes together. Bit of glue. Yeah, as I was saying, it's kind of difficult to prep for three lives a week. So you get a bit more of me rambling <laughs> i was going to say you get a bit more of me rambling than usual but i'm usually quite rambly anyway there we are i think it's going to look better with a, with some text on it's just a bit more interesting and if we're lucky we might get enough from this one come on um to go on here I saw a snipe and a curl you. Yeah, that sounds nice. Just cut the curl you in half. Can go there and I'll cut it to there. I don't need this bottom bit. Right. Lovely. Stick that on. Jobs are good. Enough. There we are. Lovely. Right. Good. So I think pretty much I'm done with that. I've left a little gap there. So if I want to stitch it, I've still got room to stitch it. So as far as I'm concerned, that's that back uh, element where it's um, joining onto the, the black book itself is complete, I'd say. Uh, I'll just put them away. The one thing that I've put away, I don't know. I don't know why. Um, right. So that goes on to there. So the next page then, I think we'll make a one with pocket a pocket on or a couple of pockets on. So what I need is some paper. Just, I'll just get a selection. We'll see what we've got. Um, this is the stuff that you may remember I got from that CD-ROM um, and there's some really nice bits of paper. I mean, they're not, ex you know, not exactly out of the, the book, um, but they are the elements from, from the book. So, excuse me, I'll just have a drink, talk myself to a standstill. Um, that's quite nice. Oh, got two of them. That's a bit Christmassy for my liking, I think. I need it to be that way on, and they're growing that way, so that's not going to work. Mm. Similarly, I think that's more that way. Here's the one with bees on it. But it's very white, isn't it? Um, I'll leave that out because I can always brown that up a bit. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, yet again, though, it goes that way. It's a nice one, that. Um, I think I've used that somewhere else in the journal, so that might not be a bad idea. That goes that way as well, I think. Um, I 
I'll, I'll say that's it. There's loads more, like, but I'll, I'll call it at that. I will be here all day looking at papers. So, that one. Yeah, nice. I like that one. This one, if I browned it up. Does it go that way, though? Yeah, I think I'd feel forever it does, actually. Or oh, that one. I think, I think this one. I think this is more in keeping with what we're up to. So let's chop it at five and a half by nine. So um, I'll just cut this end off here. So we're uh, square. Sorry if this isn't the most exciting video you've ever watched, but you know when you're doing loads and loads of videos in a week, it's kind of hard to uh, hard to make them all really exciting. But if you like junk journaling, then it'll be moderately exciting. I tell you, thank goodness for YouTube because it's getting a hammering, and so is old. Um, only Fools and Horses, which we found, uh, and it's all, I don't know what they're on, Netflix or Amazon, whatever it is. But, God, they're funny. Five and a half, which brings us to there. So this is going to be kind of our base paper, and then we'll put pockets or some such onto it. Once again, we don't want anything that's going to be too fat. So let's just check that's right. Yeah, that's right. And I like it. And this is the side that hasn't got the sellotape down the hinges, but you'll see that if I was doing it, the side that's got the sellotape down, it covers that whole sellotape issue up quite nicely so you, you don't even know it's there. It's secret sellotape. Okay, so let's stick that on and then we'll worry about what we're going to put on it. <clears throat> where's my where's my bit of kitchen towel gone? Here it is. Oh, sorry. Didn't whack the camera. Sorry, guys. Or in this case, shut. <laughs> So as I'm doing this, I'm trying to think what sort of pockets I'm going to put on it. And I might just go for straightforward pockety pockets. <laughs> oh dear. That's got to me. got an email from my sister earlier on saying, help, I'm going stir crazy. She doesn't do any crafts at all, so actually I imagine that it's even worse if you don't do craft because this really does take you know eat up time doesn't it which is normally what we're saying oh i haven't got time to craft i haven't got time to craft well guys you've got loads of time so that goes on there That's, that looks nice actually i, li I like that So I think what I'll do is just add a pocket, kind of not with this, but kind of there, um, maybe a bit bigger. Actually, I quite like that there, you know, that sort of shape. Yeah, I'm going to make like a, a pocket that just attaches to 
those sides like um there's a name for it which is eluding me at the moment yeah that's what i'm going to do so let's measure out well let's find an image first in the book that we like i'm going back to garden notes see what what i can find that's nice isn't it these are a bit they're a bit too white for my liking i'll have to leave them another 20 years and wait till they're yellowed. Let's go back to our proper proper book. I know you like those shells, but they're just not my favourites. Um that's quite nice. It's got the broom on the other side, but you always have to sacrifice something. That's why you need two books so you can use one page. Oh, that's nice. Does that fit on there? about okay I'm going to tear this out and yeah I'm going to lose some of them here I'm going to lose this uh, hawthorn but I think that'll look quite nice there what happens if I use that one does that look even nicer yeah you know it does so I'm going to cut that just at the end of the hawthorn, underneath the hawthorn there. Oop. Um, what did I say? Honest to God. My memory. Do you think it's because you've just got too many things in your head that you, you forget what you're thinking about at the time? I think so. Shaz, have you got me up on your big telly? I'm frightened by the idea, if you have, <laughs> that you've got a great big me. So this one's to be five and a half. So that's five and a half there. So if I put the five and a half there, where does that get me to? Uh, yeah, I like that better. But I want to come in a little bit because the end of that page is a bit ratty so yeah when it come to there then my five and a half is going to come to there so I'll get rid of the ratty uh, page edge five and a half right so now I've got it cut like that I can now see Anything on there? Oh, there's a number on there. Keep that. Um, I can now see how tall I want it, how whatever. So I want the words, obviously. So shall I just cut up there and along there? I think so. I think so. Or I could lose that, bring it down to there. This is the machinations of a junk journal. No, I, I like the words. I like the words. Um, so let's just make some pencil marks then. I want it to come down to there. And to about there. And I want it down to about there. Right, let's try that and see what it looks like. You never know, it might look all right. I don't think it'll be, I don't think we're doing anything that we can't um, actually put right. So that takes the pressure off a bit. I'm just going to try that just in case it looks all right like that. Yeah, it does actually. It does, and that white area up there sort of complements this. Oh, what shall I do? 
If I haven't got that bit, what does it look like? Yeah, that's better. It's definitely better. Right, so I'm going to chop that bit off along there where this line is. Well, I'm going to chop it off at three quarters of an inch, actually. There we go. Chuck those bits out. There's absolutely nothing on those. Get my rubber. Just erase those little marks that I made. Right, so let's have a look and see what this looks like. So that's going to go on there. That looks grand to me. I like that. Um, and we can always make something to go in there can't we right that kind of brings us to the end of today's ramblings <laughs> oh, i'm not on the big telly oh no she's fallen out with me <laughs> um if you like this please share it around and almost more importantly to me if you're watching this and you haven't already subscribed, hit subscribe. If you want to know when next I upload a video or I'm doing a live, hit the bell. Uh, that would be a great help to me if you could do that. I hope you've enjoyed this. We haven't really got that far today, but we have built this flippy flappy thing, um, which was always going to take a little bit of a while. Um, I won't, I'm not scheduled to go live um, until Saturday. But I get the sneaking suspicion that, you know, because nothing else is going on, really, that I will be dabbling back into this. So um, watch out for some videos going up. And if, you, if you're following along with this and you're making your own um, lap book and you don't want to miss out any of the stages that I've done, make sure that you catch the videos that are put up in between the lives because they'll be moving us along a little bit. Um, in the interim please please stay safe don't do anything silly just stay in you know I, I know we're protecting the nhs but protect yourself protect your families stay inside stay safe and join me again on saturday i can only thank you very much indeed for joining me today um and i hope i hope you enjoyed it see you soon bye